M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's connect our Kenwood D74 or 75 to Bluetooth on our PC. So first thing we'll do is go menu, go to the settings cog, and go down to Bluetooth, select, and then select again, and you wanna turn it to on, okay? On with the enter button, you've got Bluetooth. Now, before we start pairing, we're just gonna turn everything on for Bluetooth. So watch this, go menu, go down to interface, interface here, enter. Now I just, when I'm using Bluetooth, I just turn everything on to Bluetooth. So USB function, I'll leave that as IF output, that's fine. Mass storage would mean it would select your SD card and the whole thing becomes like an SD card. So back, so then I just put, go down to PC output, GPS, I select Bluetooth. You don't have to select them all, but I do, look. PC output, APRS, KISS, DVDR, it's all on Bluetooth. Okay. Sometimes you also have to go menu. If you're in DR mode, go F digital. And go over to voice and data. See that there? Just here, enter. And sometimes you have to get that into data mode. When you do, the actual screen does say data. Let me just show that again, I was on the wrong window. So we go menu by going, when you're in digital mode, this is the trick, see, there's digital mode. To, be, to go into digital mode, you do have to be in VFO. So you're in VFO, which is number one, memory is number two. Number one is VFO. Then you can hit digital. Then you can go F menu and then you can toggle across, and I was meant to say data here. You don't actually select it, you sort of push it, and it says data, but if you go F menu again and push it again, it comes out of data. So we're gonna go F menu. Now I know that to do, to do Bluetooth reading on the RSM1A app, you need to be in data mode. So I'm gonna leave it there and just see if it now will pair with my PC and read and write. So to go into pairing mode, just go menu, settings, back to Bluetooth, it's probably at the top. And the best one to connect, I find, is always pairing. You put it in pairing mode, then you go to your PC. So at your PC, click down here at the bottom, where you get your Wi-Fi and your internet, you get all these come up. You've got Bluetooth here, just make sure that it's on just by clicking it, look, click it once on. Of course, you need a Bluetooth device connected to your computer. You can buy dongles for like five pound now. Right click on the pink, go to settings. And at the top here, just make sure that's on and then just click add a device. And grab your radio and select, as we did just now, pairing mode if it's timed out. So I've just done that, it gives you 60 seconds. Select Bluetooth here at the top. And very quickly, hopefully if you've got a if you've got a device that is the wrong type Bluetooth, this won't happen. So then you just click that and I, I'll switch back to my radio so you can see what happens on the radio as well. Back at the radio, you click your D74 on the PC and the, you get this passcode come up, you click OK, and then on your computer you get this and you click connect. Okay, and we're all connected now, as you can see. So that's everything connected, showing on the radio as well. Thanks for watching, and then we'll be demonstrating different items that you can use with Bluetooth, including the RS M1A app. That looks like this. Very nice. You can send photographs. You can control on the ICOM at least. You can control DR mode. Not sure about the, you know, the 75, but we're going to learn if we can. Send messages. And you can do it by cable and Bluetooth. I'll put the link in for this download in the description. Bye for now.